Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of Nespresso content and reviews of products that will help make your life easier as well as unboxings. Today we are doing a review slash recipe type video. So I really want to try this, which I found at Trader Joe's the other day. It is a non-dairy oat creamer. I have tried some of their oat creamers before, but I don't think I've tried the brown sugar one. So I wanted to try putting this in a latte, like a hot latte. I know there's the shake and brown sugar latte drink from Starbucks, which I haven't actually tried before. So if you want me to try to replicate that, let me know. I probably should try it if I'm going to replicate it, but um, so I'm going to fill the frother with probably like half this and then half the Kirkland oat milk. So the Kirkland oat, oat milk does not froth, but when you use like a creamer like this, usually they're pretty sweet. So you don't really, I've noticed it like makes it a little bit too sweet to use it as the full milk. So I'm going to do like half and half. So hopefully this will help it froth and also give it some flavor, but the other one will like cut it to make it not so sweet. So I'm going to also brew this pod. So if you recognize this, this is from 2020. Uh, I know some people try to follow the guidelines on the boxes that say like the best by date, but they are like vacuum sealed or whatever. So I'm not worried about it, especially when the top is still like secured. So this is the Il Cafe pod when they first released it in uh Christmas 2020 before I even realized like what limited editions were and I like tried it and then it disappeared and I was so confused but I'm glad that it has been re-released the pod is not as pretty so I have kept some of these because they're just so pretty but I'm gonna be using this one today and I will get all of that ready and we will be back okay so I finished frothing and have my coffee in here smells so good. If you haven't tried El Cafe yet, I definitely recommend it. I have a review of the pod on my channel from I think like last fall when they released the it permanently. Um, and then this worked pretty well. It frothed. I know frothing oat milk can be a challenge. You Typically if something has like more oil in it, it'll froth better, although it's not as good for you. But that's not why we're drinking lattes. So <laughs> I'm just gonna, this is kind of a small cup, so I don't think it's all gonna fit. Maybe it will. Mmm, it smells good. It's probably gonna be pretty sweet if I had to guess. Mmm, yeah. I really like sweet things. And this is sweet and has like that brown sugar flavor. It is really good. Um, the In case anyone is curious about the nutrition facts, it is 25 calories per tablespoon. I probably put at least two tablespoons in here, so we won't think about that. And it has four grams of sugar. But yeah, I definitely think this is a really good creamer. I'm going to be using it probably this week also in just like my regular coffees, not frothing it. And I think that'll be so good. So let me know what you guys think. Do you try the Trader Joe's, what are these called, oat creamers? Uh, I can't drink regular milk, so typically I drink oat-based milks, and I found that the creamer ones are typically like a little bit thicker, obviously have more sugar, so like not as good for you, but really delicious for lattes, and I'm gonna go drink this one. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.